Hey guys, so I'm still figuring out this hair. Um, I washed it for the first time since I cut it and curled it today. I think I used too small of a barrel though because it's it's very curly, but I don't know. I mean, the short hair is growing on me. I thought I thought getting shorter hair um, would like cut down the time it takes for me to like do my hair, but if I curl it, it's gonna take me longer because I have to dry it and then curl it and curling it takes longer than straightening it. So I'm trying to figure out what exactly it is I wanna do with my hair. and. Yeah, I like I don't like putting it behind my ears anymore because it's too short and it just makes my face look funny. So I'm just well at least, you know, this ear looks sort of okay. But this because there's more hair on this side. Anyway, I just wanted to address my hair situation. I'm just trying to figure out what it is I want to do with my hair these days. I did a little mousse in it before I blow dried it. Um, and then I did some of the Modern Minerals texturizing spray after I curled it. Sort of like broke them up a little. I don't know, I burned myself like four times with the curling iron. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. So I wanted to film another video um, this weekend because it's Sunday and I didn't know what exactly I wanted to film and that I've, I saw that I've sort of accumulated a large number of packages that I've either purchased or have just come in from PR. And I don't usually do videos like these, um, but I thought that it might be interesting for you guys to see like some new companies because there's a couple of companies in here that you probably haven't heard of. Um, see some stuff that I've picked up for some videos that I'm working on. Um, see some other stuff from some other companies that they've sent in. And yeah, I just thought that we would just do like a what's come in my mailbox recently. Like what's this just in my mailbox? I don't know, I haven't figured out the name of what I want to call this, but, and I don't know what specific order I want to do this in because I've got quite the pile of stuff here. So this is gonna be a little bit of a long video. So if you're interested in hauls, I guess, PR or otherwise, because it's a little bit of both, um, stick around if you're not feel free to click off. I will not be offended if you don't want to watch this video. <laughs> and I don't know that I'll do these very often. It's just that I wanted to film something today, but I didn't I didn't really have a plan of what else I wanted to film because I'm working on a lot of testing and things like that. So yeah, so the first thing I'll start off with is this pretty generous box from Vapor Beauty. Um, so Beauty Hero sent their ambassadors um, a foundation stick and the Simmer Bronzer from when they were doing their gift with purchase, I think it was last month. And I really, really fell in love with the Vapor Bronzer especially. I really, really loved it. I'm really into like cream products. I'm wearing a cream blush right now. I'm just, I'm really loving it. Um, so I actually reached out to Vapor to see if they'd be interested in sending me a, um, a bunch of their Carmine free stuff so I could, you know, do some more reviews and videos for that. And they sent me pretty much all of their Carmine free shades. They do have a specific area on their website um, that will give you the list of all of their Carmine free shades because the majority of their products do contain Carmine, which is unfortunate. Um, and a lot of their Carmine free stuff leans more purple. Um, there's a couple of things, like their cheeky products are a little pink, but a lot of their stuff leans purple, which is, I wish they would, you know, try to take out the carmine and use like mica and other things, because I know that there are ways to create pink shades, pink and red shades without carmine, because other brands have done it. Even without dyes, carmine and dyes, other brands have done it. So I wish Vapor would get on board that train, but um, until then they have sent over pretty much all of their Carmine free shades. I, there were a couple of things that I just opted not to receive um, just because they weren't specific color choices, but there's some multi-use blush colors in here, Virtue and Charm. Um, there's four of their eye colors, um, a lipstick, a highlighter, and then their lip, their velvet lip glosses. They only had a couple of Carmine free shades. So I'm excited to play around with those, do like a vapor look. Um, Vapor is not vegan. They do contain beeswax. I think all of their products contain beeswax, even their like eyeliner. Um, but there are a large selection, a, a, a small selection, I won't say large, I guess, um, a small selection of carmine free shades on their website if you're not opposed to beeswax and things like that. Okay, so I'll talk about some things that I bought um, to sort of balance it a little bit. So I I told I talked about in my last Get Ready With Me video that I was working on some like beauty blender related videos because I wanted to test out, you know, cheaper beauty sponges versus the beauty blender. And I'd never actually tried the beauty blender before. So I purchased a couple of the beauty blender items. I have the beauty blender original. I just got the nude one. Um, I got their cheeky, what is it called? Cheeker? 
Beauty Blusher. <laughs> it's like a smaller version of that for like cheeks. Um, and then I got their mini, their micro mini ones. These are, their sponges are very small. I, I was sort of expecting them to be a little bit bigger, um, at least based on like other sponges that I've used, but these are very small. And I haven't used them yet. Obviously they're still in their packaging, but I did pick up three uh, beauty blender things to try. And then I do already have the Hint Beauty sponges and I've got the Real Technique sponges. So then I went and picked up the Eco Tools um, sponges. So I got the Fresh Perfecting Blender. Um, it's got, it's new. It's, um, it's a new version of it. It's now infused with antimicrobial si silver to keep your sponge cleaner, fresher, and longer. And I mean, like, look at the size difference. Um, just like dry compared to these two. Like this is so much smaller. I don't know, so we'll see. I think this was like $5.99 or $6.99. And then I also picked up the mini sponges because I want to compare both. This is the Color Perfecting Minis, which I mean, you could use them with other colors. It, they say to, that the idea is to pair them with color correcting concealers. So you'd use like a green concealer, a peach concealer, a lavender, and like a yellow or whatever. But I mean, you could use these for just regular concealer. You don't really need to pair them with the color correcting, but if you wanted to. I mean, I guess you could. So yeah, I, I like I said, I wanted to do some um, beauty blender comparison because I want to do like, is the more expensive version of this product worth it than like a cheaper version? And I've got two that I'm working on, um, eye primer and the beauty blender so far. If there's, if there's other ones that you want to see, let me know because I, I'd definitely be willing to pick up some other stuff to do it. Um, so yeah, if you've got other categories. Then Sappho resent me their concealer in light. I had noticed that the concealer that I had gotten from Beauty Heroes dried out for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Um, it's supposed to last 24 months at least, even like in the freshness category. So I reached out to them and, and let them know and they just offered to send me a brand new one, which I really appreciated. And then they sent over their concealer brush with it. So, um, cause yeah, I am working on some concealer videos also and I kind of needed the Sappho concealer to do one of my videos for, so. Uh, yeah, I did reach out to them about that because I wanted to make sure that I had it. Um, okay, so then a new brand um, that sent me some of their stuff. This is a brand that I hadn't heard of before. Um, it's Wild Grace. So they sent me a few of their products. Their Kaffa Perfume, Kaffa Body Oil, and Kaffa Serum. Um, their Kaffa Line, I know they had a couple of different lines. Their Kaffa Line is for oily and dull skin. Um, at least this one is the oil serum. It says it tightens pores, pro-aging, minimize the appearances of fine lines, brightens skin, improves the look of scars. Um, it's got safflower, grape, camellia, argan, evening primrose, ciste, uh, rosewood, hoewood, geranium, lavender, carrot seed, and vitamin E. It sounds like it's gonna be a really nice formula. Does anyone else hate these boxes lately? It's like every time I try to open one of these, it like rips. So it's just got like a little dropper top. I haven't opened this yet. So let's go ahead and give it a sniff. Yeah, it's very like rose geranium. Very pretty. And then there's the body oil, which is for congested skin. So yeah, I think their Kaffa line is for like oily skin. This reduces, the, it's supposed to reduce the look of cellulite and improve skin texture. Um, it's got a lot of the same it's uh, safflower, grape, pumpkin, evening primrose, black cumin, black spruce, lemon, grapefruit, balsam fir, rosemary, cypress, nutmeg, and pepper. So I'm guessing this will have sort of a spicier scent. Ooh, it does. It's, it's very like almost like pumpkin pie spice, but not pumpkin. So it's, it's like the pumpkin pie spice with the, like, the clove and the nutmeg and things like that. And then the last is the oil. Uh, perfume oil. This is, um, it's got jojoba, bergamot, uh, spike lavender, cinnamon, cardamom, clove, jasmine, uh, bitter orange neroli, and frankincense. Scents that I love. It's very clove heavy and cinnamon. Yeah, you can definitely smell the cinnamon. So if you like spicy, less floral scents, definitely look at that one because it smells, it's very cinnamony. So that's a brand that I'll be trying soon. Wanted to give those a mention. Um, so then I'll just switch to another, uh, a couple of things that I purchased. So I saw Ilya came out with a new concealer. 
Um, and since I'm working on a concealer video, I wanted to pick it up. Um, a couple of you had warned me off of their old concealer formula, and I saw that they were sort of clearancing out, and I guess this is why, as they were releasing a new formula. So this is the True Skin Serum Concealer, and I picked the shade Yucca, which is their SC2. It's their second lightest shade. I will say it seems a little dark and I've seen that people have mentioned that like they've gotten it based on like what they the shades describe and it does seem like a little dark but I mean we'll sort of see how it goes that's like blended in a little bit it might be okay though I might be able to get away with it I had been looking at their foundation um, cause I was interested in like the serum version of it, but I guess there's like dimethicones in it and dimethicones don't sit well on my skin. This one I didn't notice anything. I mean, Ilia doesn't, it's not really as clean as a lot of other green brands. I feel like Ilia, I don't know, do they call themselves green? I'm not sure. I've seen, you know, like a lot of green beauty YouTuber or uh, green beauty people use them. I don't know, but they're, the formula, I mean, isn't like super clean, but it's not terrible. So, I mean, I figured I would try that. And then I did pick up one of their lipsticks to get free shipping. <laughs> um, this is their Color Block High Impact Lipstick in Knockout, which is a shade that I, you know, love. You guys know I like these really hot pink shades. So, I just picked up a couple of things from Ilia. Um... They do use dyes, and uh, but th they're, all their lipsticks are vegan, but they use dyes, but no carmine. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, the, it, I mean, because on their website it says that they're vegan. So if you're not opposed to dyes, um, you could definitely check out the Ilia lipsticks because they are vegan, but not dye-free. Um, so then I received some things from another new company. This is what I was saying because there's a few new companies that I wanted to talk about with you guys in here. Um, so this is from Woods Wild Botanicals. They've got, um, it's another, they've got face oils um, made for specific skin types and they've sent me their purifying face oils. They've got two. Um, they just have different scents. They're, they're both for oily acne prone and acne and blemish prone skin irritated skin, um, but one is comforting, harmonizing, and grounding. Let's see, it's got rose geranium, immortelle, clary sage, and German blue chamomile, and then the other one is centering, inspiring, and uplifting with grapefruit, cypress, and juniper. The packaging on these ones is really pretty. Really pretty packaging. And then they also sent over their body mousse, their nourishing body mousse. It's softening, regenerating, and increases elasticity. It smells really good. There's that, it's nice and fluffy. Um, I don't have the ingredient list for that one, so I'll just have to get, unless it's right here, is it? Is it this? Is this the ingredient list? No. But they've got, um, so they've got purifying and regenerating face oil. So I showed you the purifying ones, um, the regenerating, uh, face oils are for dry, mature, and sensitive skin types. Um, so there's their little brochure there. So I'm excited to give those a go. And then something else that I got in the mail was a little sample of the new Mahalo I Am Love perfume. Um, I am like full on obsessed with this already. I wanted to compare it to the Atar Ona Ona perfume that came out in their I Am Love collection a couple of years ago, but now she's released like an actual full-size perfume. So the I Am Love perfume, um, it's blended in jojoba oil, and then it's supposed to have a scents of Hawaiian jasmine, um, Davina, or Davana, Ylang Ylang, Oud, Ode, not sure what that is, saffron rose, vanilla bourbon, patchouli, sandalwood, champaka, tuberose, and other fine aromatic notes. Um, it's super, super beautiful. Oh, it's like a much more like developed and deep version of what the Atar Ona Ona was. I'm gonna put one, um, I'm gonna put this on one side of my wrist and then I'm gonna put the Atar Ona Ona on the other so I can like tell you the actual differences. But again, it's, it's sort of like smoky there's a little bit like of a smoky note but then there's also like a little bit of floral in the background 
it's very different. That's what I love about Mahalo. It's like all her scents are really amazing. So then I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna roll the Atar Ona Ona on the other so I can tell you the differences. This one is definitely more floral. So she's definitely made it more smoky. It's like not unpleasant smoky though. It's like if you like really like the scent of like burning campfire, but it's not like a, it's not like an unpleasant burning campfire. It's, it's pretty. This one is definitely more floral, has more like chocolate notes. Yeah. So if you liked the old version, I'm not sure. I mean, cause they are very different. I remember when I first got this, I couldn't, I couldn't even use it because I um, was pregnant when she had sent this and I floral, very floral things I could, I could not even use because my nose was just like, <laughs> I couldn't even use the petal. But yeah, I really like this. I'm going to let them develop, you know, sort of like over the day and then sort of see, but I really love this. It's a limited edition, I think. I don't think it's gonna be around forever, but it's it's been up for a couple of weeks now and it's still there. She is selling samples. The samples are $16 each and the full size is $95. So if you've been interested in trying it at all, I definitely would at least pick up a sample. I mean, it'll if you just sort of like use it on your wrists, it should last you like a good long while, as long as you don't like dump it out or anything. But um, it's very pretty. I really, really like that. I'm definitely looking at picking, picking up a full size of it. So then let's talk about something Beauty Heroes related. I did mention this in a couple of videos, or at least one video. I mentioned it on my Instagram, but I wanted to mention it in a video, like show you the actual bundle. This is their newest lifestyle, or lim uh, limited edition wellness discovery, not lifestyle. It's the Detox Collection or the Recover Collection by Pure Soma. So there's two different sort of like bath collections. Pure Soma does these um, salt, scrubs and baths and body products to help you detox or recover. Um, and I, I picked the digital detox, or I picked the detox collection. It's ideal for digital device junkies, which I am unfortunately. Um, Pure Soma's Hero Product and All Natural Sleep Aid, the digital do uh, detox bath treatment. Um, is known for its renewing abilities using ventilated French green clay, and then their Minerals de Mer Soak. Here we go. Rebalances the mind and body after overindulgence, made with a potent blend of hand harvested French green, uh, French gray sea salt, sea seaweed, and chlorella. Then the Refresh Polish, made with a blend of jojoba, seaweed, and brown uh, rice bran oils, will soften the appearance of the skin. So each bag is one treatment. So you use. This is a the Refresh Seaweed Body Polish. One bag is one resurfacing treatment. I mean, you could probably get away with two. Two or three, depending on... I mean, I haven't used them yet, so I don't know how much is in here. Um, so it says, blend entire contents of oil sachet into the scrub mixture. Oh, so I guess there's, an, there's a dry oil infusion as well as a, a mixture. So you probably will have to use it at once. Hand stir until well mixed. Scrub your body while still dry before turning the shower on. Beginning around your shoulders, working your way down to your feet, using the entire package to cover every inch of your skin. The hydration phase by re-scrubbing the entire body while adding small amounts of water, uh, or activate the hydration phase um, with any remaining body polish and then rinse. Don't use any soaps or body cleansers. I was, I've been really interested in these for a long time, but I've hesitated picking them up just because they are one treatment per bag and they are so expensive. So if you've been interested in any of the Pure Soma, you know, bath things, the Recover Collection um, is a realistic, re, uh, ritualistic reboot. Hot tub bath uh, is the antidote for the common cold. The Savanza soak is infused with frankincense, juniper, and hoewood. Um, and then the Renew Polish re, uh, hydrates the appearance of skin so yeah, it sort of depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for sort of like a detox or like a reset, basically. Um, I've considered picking up the other one, but I might just pick up another set of the digital detox because I just really like the idea of these products. I went to go use the, the this one last night, but the water in my bathtub would not get hot enough and I was really annoyed. Um, each set also comes with a body brush. Um, it's ethically harvested jute fiber. 
So if you've been wanting a body brush, it is included in that little package there. So that is the Beauty Heroes wellness discovery for this month. I do think we're gonna start seeing limited discoveries um, every month, which I'm a fan of, but I mean, it sort of depends on what you guys, but yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about this one. I might pick up another one because I just, I like the idea of those. Um, so then what else have I got? So I'll talk about another new brand. This is Malavra, Malavara. Um, they reached out and wanted to know if they could send me their products and I was like, sure. So they sent me their ultra luxuriant hair elixir. Um, their dry silk body oil, which is lime vetiver. This one doesn't really have a scent. It says be lustrous with a uh, potent basil root, but when I opened it, there was not much of a scent on it, but this one did, it smelled like lime. And then their lime vetiver body wash and body lotion, like a little mini of it. So that's new, hadn't heard of that brand before either. I love discovering new brands. I think that's like more exciting to me than trying stuff from like bigger brands because the bigger brands, you know, people talk about all the time, but like the little guys, they need some love. Um, so I guess speaking of a bigger brand, I mean, I do love bigger brands, but it's, it's really fun discovering things from like smaller brands. So uh, Fit Glow recently released a couple of nighttime treatments. I've talked about this in another video, my detox market video, I think, and I've posted about them on Instagram, but I wanted to mention them again. In case you didn't watch that video, um, so Fit Glow released two new nighttime products. They're Comfort Cloud Bomb. It doesn't actually say it on this, um, but this is a fantastic nighttime treatment. I just love the Fit Glow skincare um, products lately, and this bomb is so thick and so moisturizing, and it's just incredible. Oh, I love the scent of it. If you're like a fan of the Cloud Comfort Cream, this is like super, super hydrating, really great for nighttime. And then also their Night Serum. Oh, I just love it. I love everything Fit Glow. And then I'm not gonna talk about this too much because I don't actually know when it releases, but she's also releasing a rinsable cleansing oil soon. So yeah, there's that. Um, I also picked up a couple of things from RMS, um, but I really picked them up from Pharmaca, but they are from RMS. Uh, uh, Pharmaca was doing 25% off, which they do every once in a while, and that's when I like to shop for products like RMS because you get a really decent discount. So I picked up their Buriti bronzer, which I didn't actually realize I had in one of those little quad thingies. Um, so I didn't really need this, but now I've got like a full size of it. And then I picked up their Lip to Cheek in Modest, which is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today, which is like a nice, you know, like everyday sort of pinky nude, like everyday color. I, I, I love colors like that. And I was very, very attracted to it. So I did pick up both of those. And then the last two things, um, so let's talk about another brand that I'm trying recently that sent me a few of their products, and that's Nini Organics. Nini or Nini, I think it's Nini. Pretty sure it's a Nini. Um, they sent me their Natura collection. Um, so they've got the Natura Detox Foam, which is a depolluting powder to foam superfood cleanser. If you're familiar with like the Otis Ate, um, whatever it's called, Ritual Cleanser, it's like that. I like this one better though. This one doesn't dry out my skin. The Otis Ate one tends to dry out my skin. This one is much more gentle, but it, it's like super effective at cleaning without stripping. So I like that one much better. There's the Natura Miracle Mask, which is detoxifying, deep polluting, and deep cleaning skin treatment mask. I think, what is, what's in here? I think there's like, um, uh, there's cacao, um, pink and green clay, razul clay, coconut milk powder, oatmeal, um, hibiscus, orange peel, neem, willow bark, just a lot of really, really great things in here. I also really love that. I've tried, I've tried both of these things, um, once so far, but I'm, I'm already, like, really in love with them, and I want to try, like, the rest of his line. He has a, like, a, a blue tansy oil face cleanser. Oh my god, I'm, like, dying to get my hands on that. And then the Natura Detox Oil, which is a rebalancing facial oil rich in linoleic acid. I just love his packaging, too. If you're not following him on Instagram, he is, like, the most like joyous and he has the most infectious personality. He's so fun to watch. Yeah, and this has like blue tansy in it too. 
great for those of us with oily acne prone skin but also more sensitive because um, it does have the blue tansy which helps calm so i've got one more set of things to talk about and i finally got my hands on the new natural logic packaging i hadn't gotten my hands on any of the new packaging yet so she recently rebranded sort of um, and everything now comes in uh, frosted glass of some kind either jars or bottles like this and everything is like screen printed on it's so pretty I just I love I love frosted glass I'm like such a sucker for frosted glass so she sent me her rarify flawless complexion oils which is another blue tansy great for sensitive skin um, it's got burdock root dandelion chickweed it calms, nourishes, fortifies, balances, and uh, healthifies skin. This does have blue tansy, right? I didn't like, yes it does, it's blue tansy. I didn't want to oh, like speak out. Oh, uh, ugh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. And then I've got the Omni Moisture Cream, which is one of my favorite nighttime moisturizers. I'm like about done with the first jar she ever sent me. This stuff is incredible. Uh, this, These two mixed together make the most amazing nighttime treatment. Like, Good God, if you have not tried it yet, please go get yourself. I don't know. Does she still do samples? If she does samples, you need to pick samples up of both of these. And if she doesn't, just pick them up anyway, because I, I promise you they're really good. And then I got a refill of my favorite Unmask, which is one of the best masks I've ever tried. It is so unique, so great for those of us who have dry, acne-prone, sensitive skin, which is basically what I have. <laughs> Though the acne has been like at bay since I've been keeping the sugar in check. Um, I'm, I am a little broken out around like my chin right now, but I'm not really sure what that's from. But either way, my skin is doing a lot better. Um, and then a new release that will have released by the time this video goes up is her new Lustral Purify and Clarify Cream Gel Cleanser. This is, um, she reformulated her Balance Cleansing Gel, and this is such... If you try that formula and you loved it, you're gonna love the new formula. It's so lush and like plush and cushiony, but it's like really silky and beautiful on the skin. This is, it's awesome. She sent me like, a, this is unused. She sent me a, a pre-release sample of it and it's just, it's beautiful. Um, it's clarifying, balancing and regenerating. Um, it works to synergistically deep cleanse, mildly exfoliate and purify skin while leaving it soft, hydrated, protected and refreshed. It's pH balanced, so it's got lots of great things in it. Aloe, sunflower, burdock, jojoba, willow, uh, willow bark, chamomile, castor, evening primrose, stinging nettle, MSM, calendula. Just lots of really great things, plus neroli. Neroli is like a big, a big thing in her line. Though it's not terribly, it's not terribly highly scented in neroli. So if you're very like opposed to neroli, it's, it's not terribly high scented in there. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> I was like, I'm almost done, or I am done, but then I'm not. So there's one more company who's got a new release soon. I think this is actually up for pre-order on her website right now, if I'm not mistaken. So if you are interested in pre-ordering it, I think it's available. I think it's being released March 1st, so it might actually be released by the time I put this video up. This is the new Garden Isle Nourishing Body Oil by Leilani. Let's just like take a minute. Let's take a minute to look at this packaging. Isn't that just like so stunning? So this is a nourishing body oil, like I said. Um, Welcome to the Garden Isle, a distant shore where the warm and verdant Hawaiian jungles lend nourishment to your skin, immerse your body in a sea of ultra moisturizing beauty oils inspired by the endless wonders of Kauai. It's a luxurious blend of rich organic kuk uh, kukui, avocado, and tamanu oils with Hawaiian coffee extracts and fresh noni oil. Help strengthen and repair your skin from head to toe. Cold pressed and antioxidant rich fruit and floral oils are infused with deep woodsy essences to create a healing and tranquil escape for both your skin and spirit. Um, it evokes the sensory experience of the warm tropical Hawaiian trade winds that carry within them the aroma of fresh damp earth, moonlit blooms of jasmine and ylang, ylang flowers, and the grounding scents of sandalwood, vetiver, and cocoa. So yeah, there's kukui, macadamia, avocado, passion fruit, noni, papaya, which so it's a little bit exfoliating, uh, tamanu, Hawaiian coffee extract, plumeria, gardenia, 
jasmine, um, Hawaiian pekake, Hawaiian tuberose, Hawaiian sandalwood, vanilla bean, cocoa, uh, coconut CO2 extract, cocoa absolute, vetiver, ylang ylang, yarrow, lemon balm, and then jojoba seed oil. So let me show it to you. Let's pull it out here. I love her packaging too. Like everybody is doing this like frosted glass packaging thing lately and I'm totally here for it. If, if everything came in frosted glass, I would just like die. Everything, I just love it. <laughs> so this is the body oil. I haven't tried it yet, but... <sighs> if you have tried her older perfumes, I'm trying to think of which one this one smells the most like. Maybe the Pekake. I don't, I, I don't know if they're still on her website or not. I know she released Bless, but I don't know if her older perfumes are still there. But if you have tried them and you love them, you are going to love this. It smells like cocoa and the Pekake flower. What is it? The Hawaiian tuberose or something. It's so beautiful. I love it. It's not super floral, but it's it's very like it is. It's like tropical when you when you uh, when you, when I think when I smell it, it makes me think tropical. So trying to get this back in the box if I can. I'm not sure that I can. So anyway, now that is everything. Everything that I have received lately within, I think it's since like the first of the year. I mean, there's been other things that I haven't, uh, that I've put away, but this is just stuff that was sitting out on my table that I needed to find a place for. So when I was looking at it, like, I was like, you know what, I should just film a what's come in my mailbox recently so you guys can see everything that's going on here. Um, I don't usually show things um, before I start testing them or talk about them before I start testing them or f until I've tested them for a long time. But, you know, I think sometimes it's it's good to show you stuff that maybe you haven't heard of and maybe you want to keep an eye on, like the Woods Wild Botanicals. I'll show you the packaging on that, too. It's just like, that's very pretty. You know, let you know on some new releases that came out or are coming up and let you know on some new brands that you definitely need to check out if you have not checked out Nini Organics do so. His formulas are beautiful. I want to try everything that he makes. I'm so in love with the three things that he sent already and I'm just such a fan. I'm such a fan. So that's everything that I've got for this video. Let me know what you're the most excited for, what you thought. Do you want to see these every so often? Um, if you hated it, if you hate my hair. <laughs> Ugh, I'm still, I'm trying to get used to it. I'm trying to figure it out. I think, I feel like maybe like once it grows a little bit, I might be able to, I don't know. The next time I'm gonna, I curl it, I'm gonna use a, a little bit of a bigger barrel so I won't get these like small curls. Hopefully they won't be so like, which it kind of is. So yeah, anyway, that's everything I've got for this video. I'm gonna stop playing with my hair, even though I kind of can't help it. And I will see you guys in my next one.